Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. Yesterday I did a blog post on the 10 easy steps to get your reseller account set up and active with us. Now I wanted to go ahead and just do this via video too so you can see how easy it is. And I also want to say we built our platform with resellers in mind. Meaning if you have clients you want to offer web hosting to, you can use our platform to kind of begin building your infrastructure. Now this also works for those of you that may own an advertising agency. And let's just say your ad agency controls client sites for you know 10 or 20 client sites well our reseller packages are also very good for that because you can give each client their own control panel um, one bad thing I don't like about the discount hosts out there is they advertise unlimited domains, host unlimited domains with us. Well, really, it's not hosting unlimited domains because the way they're handling this is they're letting you do add-on domains inside a cPanel. So really, that domain doesn't get its own cPanel, so to speak. It's shared with many others. So if you have a staff member that needs to log into the cPanel, they're essentially getting access to all your domains. So we decided to, to use a different approach to that. So I, I wanna, I'll show you as we go along here. So to set up our reseller account, we could choose from the three right here on the screen. Um, basically the only difference between is the disk space and bandwidth. Now the corporate one does come with a dedicated IP address and a free dedicated SSL certificate. Um, for the other ones we can upgrade those later on. Um, so you know if you're, you're just starting out then I just recommend going with the startup because you can host unlimited domains and then you can upgrade as you go along. So um, new, all new customers have a um, discounted rate current customers can still enjoy our, our low cost rate here of about $20 a month. Okay, so on this screen here, you select if you want to register a new name with us, if you want to transfer your current name to us, or if you already have your domain and you're just going to update your name servers yourself, which that's what we're going to do here for this tutorial. So I'm just going to enter namehero.org and we're going to continue. Okay, next here we're going to proceed with the payment. And um, I'm actually going to pause this video while we do this real quick, and then we'll get to the control panel. Okay, we're back here, and um, we're at the, the um, platform page here for the NameHero.org product that we just ordered. Uh, basically, I just skipped all the stuff since you didn't want to see me have to type all that boring stuff in. But um, we do accept PayPal, all major credit cards, and Bitcoin. I think the Bitcoin's pretty cool because right now the value of them kind of sucks from where I bought a lot of them. So I'm actually just using those to pay for a lot of products and services. And the cool thing is you can subscribe with us. So, you know, you can just kind of get those Bitcoins in circulation and have them doing something if you're kind of sitting on a bunch like I am right now. Um, but anyways, this shows us our username and password. So it's a bit, you want to be very careful who you give your name hero account to. We are going to be implementing two-factor all authentication here very soon, meaning that you're going to have to have a mobile app on your phone to be able to access this panel. Um, but for now, you just want to be very careful about who you give that information out to. Okay, so once we're in here, you can see the link to Web Host Manager. This is where you're going to control everything. Now, really quick, before we get there, for your domain to be active, we have to set up the name servers. Now, if you want to register your private name servers, I walk through that in the blog post. And basically, you, you just navigate to your name, which here is namehero.org, that I've registered in Namehero. I would click here, and I would go to register name servers and set those up. And you can follow those directions in my blog post. Now, if you don't want to have private name servers, that's fine. You don't have to. What you can do is you can go right here to name servers and you can just set them to ns1.namehero.net and ns2.namehero.net. You can just set those and don't have to worry about registering them if you don't want those. So that kind of goes up to you, but for this video demonstration, I'm just going to leave them at ns1.namehero.net and ns2.namehero.net so we can get up and going. Okay, so back here to the platform. Now, to access my control panel, I'm just going to click here. And this is going to log us in to Web Host Manager. Okay, so now we're in Web Host Manager, and this is where we manage everything. So the first thing I like to do is click List Accounts. Now you can easily see that NameHero.org is right here, and you can see all this stuff is right here. Now, there's a cPanel link, so we can click right here and go into the cPanel. Now inside of here, we can perform everything we need to do for the account right here for the domain namehero.org can be managed right here. We can add email, email addresses or accounts. We can um, send forwards and stuff like that. Now, what I was talking about at the beginning of my video, a lot of the discount web hosts out there 
when they advertise host unlimited domains, they mean you can go into cPanel here and do a bunch of add-on domains. This is a very bad practice for those of you that own businesses. The reason being, everything gets jammed into one home directory, and it, it really makes it a pain in the butt to manage and to make sure you're secure. And not to mention, if you want to give a staff member access to just one domain cPanel, you can't do that. You, you have to give them access to the entire cPanel, so they're going to have access to all your sites, and it's just a security mess. Um, so we look at this a different approach here at, at Name Hero. We recommend you going back into your web host manager, and when you set up a new domain, you want to do it inside of here. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to set up a package. And this package is just going to be the resources that that domain can use. So for the, this example, we're just going to call it the starter. Okay, um, now we can determine the um, disk quota and bandwidth. Now, if you want to do unlimited, you can, you, and you can offer your customers unlimited, but you have to enter actually numbers in here um, because unlimited just doesn't, doesn't work with the reseller system. So that's kind of a, a, a web host manager issue, and we've brought that up to them. But for the time being, all you can do is enter a bunch of nines, and the same with the bandwidth if you don't want to limit this package's um, space. But if you're offering to clients, you could offer you, you could offer a limit to this, and you could charge differently based on that. Um, you can here set the max park domains or max add-on domains. Um, as I said, since I don't really recommend doing add-on domains, I just always set these to zero um, because I would rather add my domains through Web Host Manager. It just keeps everything much cleaner and much more protected. Um, you can you can define anything else here. I just normally leave it default though, so we'll click Add. Whoops. Just brought over the bar. Okay, um, let's see. There we are. Okay, this one already exists since we, we added this one. So let's call this Starter 3. Okay, and it should have added here. Let's go to Edit a Package. Okay, yeah, you can see we actually added a couple of them there. So um, the next thing we want to do is go ahead to create our account. Okay, so now I want to set up um, NameHero.net. That's going to be our example one. You can see I've already got it in there. Um, right here, you give the domain its username. Now, this is the username that you're that you're going to use to FTP and also to access cPanel. So, if this is your client, this is what you would give them to access their stuff. They can't access your web host manager. They can't access your root domain. They can only have access to the domain that you set them up. Uh, same thing if you own an ad agency, if you own a company, and you're just wanting to set up additional hosting for another name, you would just do it right here. And this would only give him access to that one domain. It's not like the discount host where they say, well, host unlimited domains, and then everything is just jam-packed in one cPanel. That's just not very efficient. Okay, I like to use the password generator um, just because it creates a very secure password. Uh, but you want to make sure you write this down or, uh, or copy and paste it into a notepad document because um, obviously I'm not going to remember that right now. So then you want to click here that you've got it written down. And you can see everything's strong. You can give it an email address for this account. If this client has an email address to contact them, or if you know if, if your company has a division to contact with this stuff, you can. I'm just going to leave it blank. Um, next, you want to go ahead and select the package. And you can see in the, in the first in the steps, we created a couple of them. So we're just going to click Starter. Okay, um, that's the first package we created with the unlimited nines. Um, but that's important. You cannot create another domain unless you have a package defined. So that's just the first step. All right, so now we're just going to scroll down, and we can leave all this stuff default. You want to allow it CGI access, um, you know, just leave that default. There's no need to change that. Um, you can just leave enable DKIM on this account. Um, unless you know what you're doing with this stuff, just leave it be um, because you don't need to go changing all that. Um, mail routing settings, you can use the local mail, which is um, default, or you can just automatically detect it. Um, either one of these is fine, but if you don't know what you're doing, again, just leave it. And then you just click Create. Okay, so just a second here, and now we're ready to go. So we can click List Accounts, and you can see NameHero.net has now been set up. So now you're able to host multiple domains in one nice, easy control panel. Now the last step we would need to do, would we would need to edit the name servers for NameHero.net. So if you've registered your name with NameHero, then you would just go into right here, and you would just make sure the name servers were either ns1.NameHero.net or the custom name servers that you set up using the blog tutorial. If you have any questions on that, it's very simple for us to answer that, and we can even do it for you. So feel free to hit us up in the live chat. But once I set my, my name servers, then, then that other domain is ready to go.
So using namehero.com, you have the ability to use Web Host Manager, and just for under $20 a month, you can offer web hosting to all of your clients as long as you're not going over the limits. And if you're an agency, you can offer hosting to all your clients for your agency or all your other websites. Over the years, I've owned many of companies, and it seems like each company has a minimum of 10, 20 domains at a time that needs hosting. So this is the best way to do it. Um, and the good thing about using our reseller packages is if you if you do blow up and you need the, the resources of a dedicated or a VPS server, we can easily just grab this whole panel here for you and scale it up to the dedicated resources in just a couple of minutes. There's not a lot of, um, it doesn't take a lot of work to do that. Um, so it's very scalable and robust. You can start out for under $20 a month. As your business explodes, we can scale up with you. But for under $20 a month, you have all the room you need to host your stuff. Now, there's something else I mentioned in my tutorial, and that's to look at your usage. What you can do is you can go on the create a new account screen, and you can scroll down here to the bottom, and it's going to show you how much disk space and bandwidth you have left. Um, so really, you can create unlimited domains until you start running out on these resources. The average website isn't going to use much bandwidth. It's not going to use much space. Unless you're getting a ton of traffic or you have a video website or something like that, you're really not going to have to worry about that, even on the 1995 account. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, that, that's a, a brief tutorial of how you get started with our reseller packages at NameHero.com. Once again, this is not just for reseller web hosts. Yes, if you own a web hosting business and you want, or you want to get started with your own web hosting business, then absolutely, we welcome you. But also, if you own an agency out there, if you need hosting for multiple domains, come on to NameHero.com. We're ready for your business. We've designed this system to make it work for professionals. We've designed this with you in mind. We've designed this with your growth in mind. We've also designed this to make sure that your data is safe and backed up in an orderly fashion. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment on this blog post or feel free to click our live support and reach out or you can even give us a call at our 800 number at the top of the screen. So thanks so much for watching everyone. We really look forward to working with you.